We're Taylor, Mike, Ziggy, and Ditto, and welcome back to Roam Away From Home's Vlogmas series, where we post a different video for every day of December. It should come as no surprise at this point that we started off our day with some puppy snuggles before preparing for our trip from Palm Springs to LAX. While Mike was picking up our rental car, I got straight to work looking up all the documents that we needed for the dogs. And we already had them all completed, we just needed to print them. If you don't have a printer, which we don't because we live in a van, you can easily get all your documents you need printed at a FedEx office or Staples or Office Max. Now let's get into what that paperwork actually is. So we got all the documents printed out. Mike also got this cool document protector for all the dogs' documents that we're going to need for a flight. Um, definitely recommend this because without it, this became a crumpled mess. <laughs> all right, so what you need for an international flight depends on the length of flight and the country. But for Costa Rica, you need a rabies vaccination certificate. So we have that. That confirms that they have a valid rabies shot and Costa Rica requires that it be a one year. They had the three year and that doesn't count. So you need the one year. We also for safety, this is not required, but just because they're service dogs, we did print out their service dog training course materials to just show that they are fully trained. Then you also need a health certificate, which is like a sign off from the vet that the dogs are healthy. They have all their vaccine and each country requires a different one and it has to be endorsed by the Department of Agriculture, the US Department of Agriculture. So this health certificate is what you need to bring your dog into another country. And if you do not have this for the countries that require it, you will not be allowed to bring your dog in and actually they might send you back. So make sure that you have this health certificate. You have to get it done by a vet. Then we also have a service animal relief form. So service animal relief form is required on flights that are longer than eight hours. I just did it because our flight is six hours, close enough. It basically makes sure that you are going to relieve your pet in a safe area and you need one for each dog. Then you also need the US Department of Transportation Service Animal Transportation Form, Service Animal Air Transportation Form. So this is specifically, oh, these two forms are specifically for service animals. So you'll need the relief form and then the air transportation form. And both state that you they are trained, they are service animals under you know penalty of perjury. These are stating that your dog is a service animal and that they're fit to travel and that they're trained and they're not aggressive and that they won't pee in the airport. <laughs> so you'll need that for both dogs as well. So total we have the service animal forms are the air transportation form and the relief attest attestation form and then this is the um <clears throat> department of agriculture health certificate for all pets and service animals and then we have our training for our dogs and then the rabies certification rabies is probably the most important but it is all required to travel and each item has a different cost of course the rabies has its own cost the health certificate has its own cost um, the other treatments for the dogs, the exams all have their own costs. It ends up being pretty expensive for two dogs. For us, everything came out to $1,300. And then for my dad, so it depends on your vet. My dad had three dogs and it was 1200 in his small Texas town. So depending on where you go and how much vaccines and treatment they need, it's expensive. But this is so critical and if you do not have these forms done in the right timing with the right length of time you will not be allowed to bring your dog into the country a really important thing is to double check with your own research for which country you're going to because every country is different some require the health certificate to be within 15 days some require the health certificate to be within 30 days some 10 uh, some require the one-year rabies some are fine with the three-year rabies and if you're going to a country that requires a two-dose vaccine you're going to need to do one ahead of time and then the second within that little 15-day uh, window or 10-day window or 30-day window don't only rely on your vet for this information in my dad's case he is in a small town in texas and the first time they went to costa rica the vet didn't even know you're supposed to have a health certificate. So he ended up uh, being denied entry for his dogs. It ended up working out. He went to a vet in Costa Rica and their vet sent over some extra forms. But if you don't get it done ahead of time, it's no, not, it doesn't work right because both Costa Rica and the U.S. Department of Agriculture have to sign off on it. So yeah, 
all the documents you need for traveling with the dog. This is also for service animals, but if you just have a regular pet, you will still need that health certificate. But make sure to research and do your own research in addition to the vet. And we were very happy to go to a vet in Scottsdale because they're very familiar with the travel process. So yeah. All right, time to get our stuff together now. We are making schedule. great time. Great time. Are you satisfied? On schedule. <laughs> We have, ooh, one thing that we got I'm excited about. We're getting this, and this is perfect if you can get a mesh bag for anywhere human, it's awesome. We are officially on the road to LAX. Puppies are in the back. All our documents are in order, we hope. about LA is that there's always so much traffic so even though we're driving at night you can still kind of see my face lit up by the tail lights. <laughs> Good night and join us tomorrow where we'll be waking up in Costa Rica.